We'll do an update video here. <laughs> Probably got a nice day. It's, dare I say, almost pleasant out. I don't want to jinx anything, but there's no wind right now. Literally no wind. Uh, this is not an instructional video, but yeah. So this is where we're at, kids. Everything in the world of foam is done with the exception of one little section over here where I got to cut a little tiny piece, which is actually sitting right there, but it's already five o'clock and I want to go home because I'm having a bad day. And it goes right there with a little notch out. You might actually be able to see the little square I drew there. A little square that gets cut out and that's where the LVL sits to hold the beam to hold this part up above us. It's a different, different picture roof. So that's the final height. Oops, about fell over. Still got to do rebar, I don't got the rebar in last course of rebar anyways so what we got here is we did 5 8 rebar the whole length one stick and then let's see how that worked it ended i think that one did second one and we dropped it down that's what we did somehow there's a 5 8 a continuous 20 uh, 18 feet of rebar 5 8 that comes in here and then drops down into that wall two feet plus the vertical and then the other 5 8 comes down here and i believe we put the two foot bend that way because there was just no way it's hard to describe. If you've never dealt with trying to weave rebar inside of ICF forms. It's there's literally you got to be bending the laws of physics. The other thing that's great is uh, yeah, these zip ties are just breaking on us. So that's fantastic news. Every day we come up, and there's more broken ones. So all those that we bought from the place that we name unnamed are trash. So now we try to replace them. At first we just grab whatever we could because we were down this low and just trying to replace them. So like they hadn't broke yet, but we put another one on there. We only had short ones. Finally found some longer ones, but yeah, it's just. So we've got one more layer of rebar to go in here. Just got the corner, we're throwing a piece of corner in. That thing's in the way, like, yeah, how do you put a bent piece of rebar with one of those in the way, kids? That's, that's, that's a mystery. The answer is you cut a big hole right there. So yeah, there's two sticks of five eighths that go. Yeah, this one up here goes, I don't know if you can see down in there. But it's not a lot of room to put lots of rebar in here because it's only, you know, you only get so much room. So we can, walk, we can walk the planks now. This is pretty much uh, these wedges. This glue is drying or that foam's drying. So those are, uh, what do you call those? Like tile flooring wedges. They work really good for holding your foam apart. So we'll just walk this whole plank here. I'm trying to concentrate and not fall off. So we can get all the way around here now. Oop, someone almost lost their... So yeah, if you gotta imagine, I just got one little piece to go here. It comes down, that gets bucked, comes across, gets bucked up. That's gonna be, oop, that's gonna be fun news. That's here. That's all glassed, or not glass, rebarred. Tied off, all good down to there. I guess tomorrow I'm putting the rebar in this thing. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if there's anything more there's, like there's a lot of things going on that aren't related to this job side of driving me crazy most most of it's out of my control and some of it's like so simple but just like has to do with uh, governing authorities and, and me having to interact with them it's like my god you guys don't want to hear me cry about my problems okay so then we get over here and this has all been done that's that over there's finished rebar's in tied off and I got a couple sticks of five eighths through there, plus a piece of half inch on top. This one here, honestly, I don't remember if rebar on the top of that yet. That may have to have a little bit more work done. Can't remember. I know that side's done, that side's done. We just spray foam that, just pulled the wedges off that, got that all finished up. So that's basically it. Got the buck in here, so that's the end of that. So if you can imagine, there'll be a framed wall right here, and then this is like mostly glass. Obviously, there's I guess every four feet there'll be a, a two by something going up that'll get you know finished out then glass and so this whole thing is just a big old pile of glass and then this here i can't remember there's some sort of glass but i don't know that's just that's what they did i mean I, if i remember right the way the roof is that's like this roof here is like a hip that's shorter than the the wedge roof that goes all the way down there and then I think the highlights of today were boss man hitting his head. That was pretty good stuff. What do you think about hitting your head, boss man? Ready for a helmet? Oh, he flicked me off, off camera. That's what he did. 
So it was nice and muddy this morning, which was fun. Uh, we came out the other day and it was so shitty that we just like, nah, we left. <laughs> it was like miserable. It felt like winter. Ice, there was a sheen of ice everywhere. We pulled up. We had because there was a storm that came through and we had to we had to pump the basement out of water again because of course the rain rains in there. And uh we pumped it up, we came up stop top. It's like, dude, we need to go get those planks. We need some more wood for planks. Let's just do that today. It's a shitty day. Let's go do that. We actually went to Menards to buy wood. They didn't have any wood that was worth buying. And then, like the person who was helping us was like, Can I help you? I was like, Yeah, you got any 12 footers that aren't like just trash? And the guy's like, Nope. And I was like, whoa, I never had an employee just straight up say, nope, we ain't got no trash. And uh, this is what they did. It blows my mind. The guy actually, although I shouldn't say the guy, the person actually said, I'm going to grab, or why don't you come down here, dig through our 16s, and we'll just cut four footers, four foots off the 16s, and then we'll uh, let you have your 12s. And that's what we did. How, how much did your, uh, your, your trim 16s to 12s cost you there, boss man? 310 bucks. For how many? Five? No, that ain't right. Nine. Nine boards for 300 and something dollars. 12 foot boards. Can you, I was just like, ooh, that's a little more than I'm used to. And that's, that's considering the last time was a little more than I was used to. It was like 35 bucks a board or some shit like that? Yep. For two by tens. It's like, not even, oh, it's just like, whoa, dude. Okay. That's real. That's happening. You know, lumber was expensive and now it's uh, super expensive, apparently. I, I, I can't even wrap my head around it gone up seas again and it's they were like yeah it's gonna keep going up something about a forest fire that's the newest there's a forest fire burning all the lumber <sighs> whatever i'm done time to go home sit in a chair but i thought i'd just get a you know film it, it some days you know one out of one out of 60 days there's no wind up here and it's nice and this is one of them so yeah that's good times whatever stay safe